my normal dose of whatever I was taking, whether it be painkillers or weed or alcohol, was at such a high level from such an early age. Early 20s, probably 21, um, started using a needle at 27. So to give you a, a rundown of all the bad things, we'd be here for, <laughs> for a long time, but went to the mountains, took my gun, and I couldn't think of any reason or anybody that would want me to live and my daughter kept popping into my head. I drove straight to the hospital, went to detox, and then straight to rehab. And uh, I've been working a very diligent, hard working recovery plan ever since. Early on in my recovery, I think I was maybe two or three months uh, sober and I had this great idea. All I needed was an 8,000 foot uh, square foot facility and $80,000. We opened up in 2015 and just went on a journey of uh, doing recovery coaching, life coaching, and we're helping a lot of people. I started getting into drugs around seventh grade. Um, I just was really depressed. Caden's grandma and uncle came to me and said, hey, we need some help with this kid. And so I met with him and he was, a, he was an alcoholic. And I just remember daydreaming about drinking and how you know, it just seemed to free your mind. He was not even close to graduating. He had gone to maybe a third of the days, flunking every class. And uh, we got a program and we all sat down as a family and as a coach. He took me to an AA meeting that night and uh, I got a sponsor the next day because he told me, he didn't ask me, he told me to get a sponsor. That's, one, I like, that's why I like Rob, he's very forward. He just graduated. He's still working two jobs, and he's uh, just picked up seven months sober. If you'd have told me last year that I was gonna graduate high school, I would have said you were lying. You hear his story, and he's, a, he's an inspiration to me. He's, uh, he shows up every day. He just took his first boxing match. We, do, we also do mixed martial arts and boxing here, so it helps people like myself and other people who have the anger issue to uh, learn how to control it. And when we use it in here, it, it's less likely to be used outside. Uh, I feel great, man. Uh, <laughs> uh, glad to be sober. There is help, and a lot of people are willing to reach their hand out. So we're here for you, and we love you, and I know what you're going through. And uh, please reach out.